Today I'm going to uh, do a quick video on uh, how you can install some uh, lights in your glove box. Uh, my 08 Lancer didn't come with any and it's found that I've a bit annoying at times when it was too dark and even using my dome lights weren't uh, good enough to find stuff in the glove box that I needed. Uh, especially winter time it gets dark pretty quick. Uh, so again this will be a quick video on how you can install some. Uh, some of you might like it or want to do it, some might not, it's up to you. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh, I will have my all my dash taken apart. But I'll just uh, quickly show you. Um, to get this, obviously you gotta get your block, glove box off. And then when you get to the bottom here, you will need, there's a little clip that goes up in here. All this, uh, all this one's here. Just gotta undo that. There's uh, five, uh, or sorry, four Phillips screws that come off. You can just take this down. So you can see, these are the two wires for my two uh, lights. Uh, I use a multi bit to uh, drill them just it, just big enough as this is have a grommet. They were designed for an alarm, but uh, I was able to use them for for this since I don't need it. Uh, so of course, these are the two. Run them over here zip tie and then just run them along the side here and where I have my RCAs for my uh, Kenwood head unit and they go up up through here and we'll be able to see them side right here and they go through the bottom there to the other side of the car then they come out of the out of the bottom here and if you can see that, it's this way here. This is my little uh, switch box that came with the lights. Like I said, they were originally made for a uh, <coughs> alarm. Uh, but this one came with uh, different wires for different setup for solid light, uh, you know, or to blink or whatnot. So I found a wire that I needed to be a solid, and that's what I used. Uh, then I ran my, I put a switch on mine. And I used the, the one here, the factory ones. Uh, that was the hardest thing to do was, you can see you got all this plastic here. Uh, so I had to get my side cutters and cut into it. And I should use a razor blade. I'm gonna mess it up a little bit at the bottom here. Uh, to make the hole for this switch. So obviously one part of it goes to, uh, to your power source. The other goes to the lights. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Uh, not from there anyways, but I used a piggy, piggy fuse and that goes to there. You can see that, uh, but that's where that goes or whatever power source you might want to use. Maybe your uh, radio uh, fuse here, but it was just a piggyback and again one goes to the source, uh, power source and it all goes to the, um, to the lights themselves. So yeah, so to get this off, there will be two Phillips screwdrivers, or two Phillips screws, one here, on the bottom there, the whole piece comes off, and then, yeah, I just run all your wires, once again, all the way across, to there, and you put them on, right now I'm done with them, so, I'm just gonna give it a quick test, make sure that works, so let's do this, there, Look at the switch, and the lights come on, or off, on, or off. These are actually blue, uh, everything else in the car is red, but I had this uh, light sitting around doing nothing, so I decided to use them for this. So, there you go, that's, that's your lights, um, I'll put everything together, and then uh, I'll do a final of uh, what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I've got, I got uh, the rest of the dash, the whole thing uh, put back together, as you can see. Uh, so now, switch on, lights are on, so you can see it's nice and bright, um, even during the daytime. So nighttime will be nice. This only use two of them. Uh, so yeah, now it's a lot easier to uh, find things in the dark. Uh, Especially with the passenger, they can't find anything. 
though the glove box is not big but still I uh, can't see too much uh, so there you go uh, any questions um, just ask thanks for watching